is some bullshit. Call <laughs> <laughs> that back. I got re up, folks. I'll be right back. All right. We, we so, have a little malfunction. I tell you something. We did have a malfunction function because we originally did a 40 minute show, but and unfortunately, it and it got screwed up. Okay, anyway. Um, as you guys know, who you guys just saw, that was Pauly B. This is um, DJ Baby Boy or Princeton Royal. Um, it doesn't matter what y'all want to call it. Um, and I am here with my boy, Pauly B. He went to go re-up. Um, and we are formerly known as NWO of Rock City. For some of you guys that remember, I was formerly known as the Shotgun. Um, so we are back for pretty much one night only to discuss WrestleMania 31. Um, unfortunately, in a, when we tried to make this video the first time, we went through each match and talked about it. But because of the fact that we're afraid that the video is going to get screwed up again, we're not going to talk about all the matches. We're only going to talk about certain matches that we are um, that we want to see, and um, and we're going to also pretty much we're going to talk about the matches that we that's going to be more interesting than anything else. Um, since Paulie is not necessarily here to really start this, I'll actually kick it off. Um, I think one of the matches that everyone, even including Paulie B and myself, are definitely interested in seeing is the, um, is the matchup, um, the seven-man ladder match. Um, it's actually different because the last time a ladder match was even – um, involved in the WrestleMania was the Money in the Bank match, and the Money in the Bank match was the first somewhat, um, no, nah, I can't say that, but um, it was a ladder match that used to be big in WrestleManias, but unfortunately, since Money in the Bank is its own pay-per-view, they don't do it no more. Uh, so, huh? Oh, did I miss anything? No, we're just getting started. Oh, we're just um, getting started with the show. So, um, so at the end of the day, um, the seven man um, ladder match, um, me and Pauly B both said that uh, we have our upset winners and we have our actual winner winners or whatever you want to call it. Um, me and Pauly's upset winners, we both agreed would definitely be Bad News Barrett. Like that would have been an upset win. I got upset for Dean Ambrose. Oh yeah, that's right. That's his right. So I got Wade Barrett, he got Dean Ambrose, but our actual winners, it would have to be Dolph Ziggler. Yep. I'm sorry. That yes shit, Daniel Bryan, go sit down somewhere. Daniel Bryan's got to take a hike, man. He does. I can't stand that little fucker. Derek and I, yeah. were you told him about Ring of Honor? Yeah. Hmm? Were you told me how he was in Ring of Honor? He was in Ring of Honor. Yeah. As the American Dragon. Yeah. Ha! Ah, Brian Danielson. Oh, <laughs> you Anyway, um, I think Daniel Brown needs a shave too. I don't know. You gotta get rid of that shit. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. I'll probably Bree likes shit. Yeah. Well. Uh, all right, anyway. <laughs> all right. Fuck that. Next match. Well, the next match I want to discuss is John Cena versus Rusev. Um. Y'all know I'm for Team Cena, but at the same time, Rusev has been on a roll, so I have to give him his props. He's actually been really, really dominant. As just as far as a wrestler is concerned, it's phenomenal. I mean, at Fastlane, he definitely like at Fastlane, you definitely seen them go toe to toe. Like, oh Cena, yeah, that was a good match. Cena was probably the only person that actually gave Rusev a run for his money. Mm -hmm. So in this case, um, like I said, I'm giving Cena the win, but at the same time. You can't sleep on Rusev either, so no. I don't know. So at the at the end of the day, I gotta see. You gotta see that. Even Mark Henry could have handled Rusev. I know, but Cena could. He's a strong man. Exactly, yeah. but Cena um, could. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next match I want to discuss is uh, Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker. Oh, Kevin, you get bring that up again. Oh, I know, I have to. Okay, let's just make this one short as possible. Bray Wyatt wins. Okay, next match. Next match: Sting versus Triple H. My boy Sting, so I'm going for Sting. So you put know that. I'm going for Sting. I think Sting. Um, you it's it's gonna be the battle of the eras if you think about it because Sting kind of represents that WCW era. Then you got 
Triple H that represents the attitude WWE. DX stuff that Triple H went there to go down to there and they weren't little man. Yep. So you definitely can still, like, you're going to see a lot of, like, memories in that match. Because, again, you know, Triple H, like he said, with DX try to go the, mm-hmm. to WCW. And then you got Sting who stood up for NWO, but then ended up joining them. Yep. The the uh, the Wolfpack version. Mm-hmm. That's where the red and black came in, which was hot actually. Yep. That was pretty cool. Wait, Lex. Uh, yep. So if you think about it, um, you're definitely going to see two eras in one ring, but which is good because this will actually give like people who learned so much about those years, about the Monday Night War and all that stuff. Now we have that opportunity to be like, wow, you know, like look what came out of that. About time. So, so like, this wait. match has to happen. This yep. is a match that had to happen. So, I like it. I'm giving Sting the win, though. I think it's going to be great. Then you got the main event. You you got Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Who? <laughs> Who's Brock Lesnar? Fuck him. Oh, wait, gonna... this guy doesn't even show up on Raw or SmackDown. That's right. He don't. He don't. He's like The Rock. Whoops! Ooh. Yeah. yeah, it's like The Rock. He wins the belt. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, The Rock says. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, you see, Brock Lesnar is like The Rock, you know. He wins the belt, but don't come back, and then would come back for WrestleMania to lose it to John Cena. But in this case, Brock Lesnar wins the belt at SummerSlam, and don't come back until WrestleMania, WrestleMania to lose Roman Reigns. Right there. there we go. All right, so uh, I'm glad we got that covered. So, yay. I'm totally glad we got that covered. Way to go, guys. That's good. All right. Roman um, is sponge for you. I, I, y'all know I don't drink like that, so there you go. Yeah, you All can't right. can't hang with me. I, I don't yeah. drink. You just also can't hang, dude. It's because I don't drink. I mean, I can't hang. Yeah, he drinks once in a while. Once in a while. Oh, I slipped. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Moment. Yeah, it was whatever, though. They, people go be like, oh, well, oh, come on, guys. You know, he goes all the time, guys. Come on. <laughs> you guys are both fucking assholes. No, nah, this is what we do. All right. Um, we give a Roman a win. Roman Empire will rise at WrestleMania 31. Until my boy Seth shows up. We got Can't a lot of theories end. about that. But we're going to talk about the theories on the podcast show. We'll get to that. Yuck. Um. Okay. That should, probably, that should be called that 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 probably should come. Oh, hold on. Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. That's his boy. Seth Rollins is his yeah, boy. Seth's gonna win this, but then you're gonna have that cash in money in the bank. Then Randy Orton's coming to interfere in that match and Roman Roman's Reigns still gonna win it. Win. Yep. That's the theory we got. Mm-hmm. That's the theory. All right, cool. All right. Um anywho. We have, uh, I know we mentioned this in the last video, but once again, it got fucked, it up. Got fucked up. So we're going to mention this again. Oh, I swear, yeah, on YouTube, oh, fuck. Fuck them. Anyway, fuck the oh, FCC, Oh, wait, it's too. Facebook, that's right. It's going to be Facebook, too. How? Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, okay, me and Pauly B, well, mostly him, but me and Pauly B. Me. No, mostly him, but we came up with this idea of it's a game. A little game. contest. A folks. little contest. And the contest is called Guess the Order. Let me give you guys the rules and the regulations for the game. The rules of Guess Your Order because test of this. The rules is you have to guess the order of the WrestleMania 31 card from the beginning of the show to the main event. In other words, you have to guess what match is going to be first all the way down to the main event. And on top of that, not only do you have to guess the order of the match, but you also have to guess the winners of those matches, including the Battle Royale. Yeah, I understand that a lot of people have multiple guesses, right but back. you got to have one. you got to have one. I got one. Right back. I got one. The Return of Sheamus. Ow! Yeah, I'm saying okay. it now. Okay. All right. All right. Now, a lot of you guys are probably... Now, here's, now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering... Okay, if we guess these things, what happens? If you are in the Rochester area 
And if you are within these five places of the Rochester area, mm -hmm. Henrietta, Greece, Brockport, Spencerport, and Brighton, those are the five. And Gage, I pull Gage. Gage. Here. Okay, six. So that's six. So six. If you are in those six areas, also a part of the whole Rochester area, the winner of this contest, Pauly B, will buy you him will buy you a drink and shots if you win at a local bar known as Pineapple Jacks yes. in Gates. That's the, that's the contest. But once again, you have to be within the city of Rochester and those six, those six areas, yeah. okay? Also, you have to be 21 and older to participate in this contest. And my buddy Mike would check your ID at the door. Yep. So if you're so even if you win the contest and you're not at that age, then you know what? I don't know what we can do. I don't know. Maybe we'll have like a lunch day or something. Like you join us for lunch. We'll buy y'all. We'll buy you lunch. Yeah. We'll buy you lunch. If you're if you're you younger. Autographs too, but yeah. Hey, it's like this. If you are younger than 21, we'll buy you lunch. If you're older than 21, we'll buy you drinks. There you go. So there, everybody gets to play now. All right? You get to be happy, happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, this <laughs> bitch. So, so in the comment box below, um, you guys will have the opportunity to once again play this game. Um, and what we will do is during the night of, or the night of WrestleMania, after WrestleMania, we... We'll announce the winner by doing a video like we're doing now. We will announce right the video. Jacks. We'll do a video right at Pineapple Jacks. And if you have a face, and also, if you have a Facebook, send us your Facebook too. Yep. Because what we'll do is we'll send you all a personal video and we'll post it on your Facebook telling you you won the contest and we'll try to get some information on what, you know, where we can go from there. So, if you guys want to hang out with NWO of Rock City for Gosh. one day, join the contest. Once again, um, if you are younger than 21, if you win this contest, we'll buy you lunch. Yep. If you're older than 21, my good friend here will buy you drinks on top of shots. Word. And y'all know I'll be there. And we'll take pictures. We'll be in videos. We'll turn up and have a great time. So, that's the contest. I will once again put details in the subscription box. Yep. So let you guys know the rules of how this contest is going to go down. You don't want to miss out on this shit. Because it's going to be great. No, you don't, brother. Okay, you don't. Are you if you're a female, I can do that too. I, I, uh, yeah. Listen, everyone is invited to play this shit. Okay? We are. Okay. But speaking of Pauly B, we um, got some great news. Pauly B... As you guys know me, I have a, a show on Spreaker called Real Talk. I am on my second season, and I will be recording my second season finale. Um, so I can get – yeah, dude, the finale is on my shit, dude. Okay. I'm serious about my shit. Holy um, shit, dude. Yeah, I'm serious about my shit, bro. Yeah. Um, you laughing. I'm serious. Um, but, hey. Um, hey. But, um, you know – it's cool for you guys that listen to me on Spreaker. I do it all the time. Pauly B is officially on Spreaker now, y'all. He has the yet to record his. This is going to be my first show. He's going to be, a, he's going to be doing his first show. And the show on Spreaker is called Shooting the Shit with Pauly B. Yeah, Shooting the Shit. Yeah, so, boy. So make sure you guys listen. He's going to do his first show. I don't know when, but he's going to do it. And, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, um, so once again, guys, I'm going to give you guys the details of the contest in the subscription box. And once again, this is how we want you to give us your answers. Not only do you give us the answers on the order and who wins, but also give us your Facebook as well. Yep. So just in case, if you win, we'll give you guys a personal video on on your Facebook page to let you know Jay you won the con. One. Yep, so there you go. Well, that's about it, y'all, but we're going to go. We're going to get shit started. So um, 
We will talk to y'all again more sooner than later. Yes. We are out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace. Yeah.